I have two magnets facing each other across a gap. What's the force required to slide them apart? This is a question we often receive, so we'll answer it with a common application, using magnets to hold a swinging door in position. We made this setup to do some quick testing. Here, a piece of wood is screwed to a hinge to mimic a door setup. We have one magnet fastened to the flooring and another to the bottom of the door or piece of wood. When the magnets get close enough, they pull to each other and hold the wood in place. The magnets are pulling to each other axially with some force. But what's the force required to push the magnets apart? In other words, how much force do I have to apply to the door to move it? In this setup, we have two three quarter inch diameter by quarter inch thick magnets separated by a quarter inch gap. We can plug these numbers into our K&J pull force calculator to estimate the magnet to magnet pull force. Our calculator says the magnet to magnet pull force is around 3.3 pounds. This is the force between the two magnets attracting face to face. This means it would also take 3.3 pounds of force to pull the magnets straight apart. However, we want to know the lateral or shearing force required to push the magnets apart sideways. We use the estimated to be around half of the magnet to magnet pull force. When we test this with a pull force gauge, we measure around 1.7 pounds, which is very close to our estimate. Knowing this, you can use our calculator to estimate the shearing force of magnets. Simply just take half of the magnet to magnet pull force. Side note, there's an interesting thing that happens when two attracting magnets are brought near each other in this way. There is a certain point where the magnets slightly repel each other before attracting. A normal push of the door is probably enough to overcome this repel force. Here we're doing a similar thing but with an actual door. This setup mimics what would happen if you had a magnet at the top or bottom of the door and another magnet either on the floor or in the header of the door jamb. This lightweight hollow core door is held nicely by some 1 inch diameter by 3 16 inch thick countersunk magnets. A heavier door might require stronger magnets or multiple smaller magnets. You can also see that it takes a while for the door to steady itself. Using multiple pairs of magnets would also help reduce this. With these two magnets, it takes about 4.4 pounds of force to push the magnets apart. To put this in perspective, it takes around 5 or 10 pounds of force to open a refrigerator door. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Check out the link to our blog article on this topic for more information.